Hello, and welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. Well, church, as a friendly reminder, you know, I never really do this, but I'm gonna try to start just to help myself out. Start plugging my own shit. So, the Church of Fuck You Bible, if you want to pick it up, you can. Amazon, all the other wonderful websites. Um, and I'm gonna try to get it in an ebook really, really soon. It'd be a lot cheaper. You could just download it instantly. So that's my that's what I'm working on. That's my project now. Um, so if you want it, check it out. It'd be greatly appreciated. All right, on with the show. Recently, I've been, you know, listening to the Democratic debates and all this other good stuff and trying to figure out who is for what. And one thing struck me, and it's, it's actually very, very irritating, that the Democrats have a really bad problem with racism. And it's not the racism that you think that, you know, they like to promote, you know, they're for this and they're for that. My big issue is this how they talk about race. And there's three issues that I have. One, the first one, I hate it. I fucking can't stand it when they keep saying the black and brown people. Like, that's the only colors in the fucking rainbow for some reason. Like, the black and brown people. Oh, the black and brown people need this, and the black and brown people need that, and blah, 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 blah. First of all, there's very, 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 very few people who are actually black, as if you're talking about color, because that's what it seems like they're doing. So, like, there is no nationality called brown. So I'm assuming they're going strictly on skin, skin color, which would be all brown. I mean, mostly all brown. You will, it's very hard to see a black motherfucker walking around, like really black, all right? So the whole black and brown thing is just annoying. And it also is annoying because they are, I guess, the only colors that exist. What about the yellow people? What about the people, you know, who say it's orange? You know, Trump is not the only Cheeto walking around. So. What about the white people? You know, they need shit too. Like, stop with the black and brown shit. It's, it's really fucking annoying. My second biggest issue is how they, when they talk about the black and brown people, what they always refer to. Like, Elizabeth Warren, she was up there, she was saying, you know, all oh, the black and brown people that, you know, work in babies, you know, work in daycare and take care of the children. And those black and brown people need raises. And we're going to make it so that all the black and brown people who are watching your children are getting way more money and blah, 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 blah. To me, it's like, are you fucking serious? And it, it's... It's not that she just said it that way. It's just that it's, this is a continuation when it comes to the Democrat Party, and it pisses me off. One, why do they always talk about black and brown people working, like, really shit jobs? They never say, you know, well, we need black and brown people to be doctors or lawyers or architects or engineers. They're always talking about the shit jobs. Like, when they were doing immigration, everything, everyone's go-to was, well, who's going to make our beds if we get rid of illegal immigrants? Who's going to wash our clothes? Who's going to take care of our children? Who's going to clean our pools? Like, that's all the fuck we're here for. Or, in case of immigrants or illegal immigrants or whatever, that's all they're here for. It's to, like, do the remedial shit that they don't have time to do. You know, here's a fantastic idea. Bitch, make your own bed. Why the fuck do you need to import someone or have the black and brown people come make your bed and, you know, wash your clothes and watch your children and clean your dishes? Like, we're not all fucking maids and gardeners and shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And that's just, it, it goes to the, the heart of what they feel, in my opinion, when it comes to people who aren't them, the black and brown people or the minorities, which would be a better word to put it. Like, why is it always, like, if you ever hear them talk, they're never talking, like, in, in a wonderful, enlightening, enriching manner that, you know, these people will excel. Like, I mean, Jiminy fucking Christmas. Like, there was a black president. We can do more than garden and wash clothes and, and do, you know, the simplistic shit that you don't have the time to do. Which brings me to my third issue when it comes to race and the, the fucking Democrats. And this is, a, this is really irritating. Bernie Sanders is a millionaire. Let's not make jokes about it. He's a fucking millionaire. He has three homes. Elizabeth Warren and probably the majority of them, like they always say, Bloomberg is a billionaire. Um, all of them are millionaires except P Buttigieg or whatever he is. Um, they're all millionaires. Multiple homes. They're flying around on, you know, what is it? Like chartered planes or private airplanes, private jets. They have all this shit. And the only thing that they're offering the black and brown people is $15 an hour and some health care that's uh, going to be absolute bullshit because you can never see a doctor because it's going to be flooded with 900 people in there at one time. So why is it that they're not coming out saying, as in, ca in, in the case of Bernie Sanders, hey, look, I'm a millionaire. I have three houses. I want to make it so that all 
Americans have a place to where they can become millionaires and they can have three houses and they can, you know, fly on whatever airplanes they want to fly on or however they want to do it. No, it's like they're saying, well, you know, you'll take your $15 an hour, I'll keep my million dollars, I'll keep my three houses, and you fend for your fucking self. Now, let's be real. In any fucking major city in this country, $15 an hour isn't shit. Okay, you cannot live on $15 an hour in places like New York, San Francisco, even fucking Virginia, where I'm at. There's no fucking way you can live off $15 an hour. None. So what is $15 an hour actually going to do? It's going to keep you fucking broke. Yeah, you won't be as broke, but you will still be fucking broke. So why not devise a plan to make everybody come out of the bullshit? Like, again, if you work hard and you do your thing, <clears throat> you can get out. As opposed to this... This stupid ass shit where, okay, fine, we'll give you $15 an hour, we'll give you free health care, if you want to go to college, we'll pay for it, but you will be poor forever. Like, that's not a fucking plan. That's not something that people should be cheering and jumping up and down about. Okay, fuck that shit. I know we all hate Republicans, but at least they have the, I mean, I guess the fortitude to say, look, <clears throat> we won't stand in your way. We'll let you do whatever you want to do, but you're on your own. We'll give you your guns. We'll take a little bit of taxes. Just in case we want to blow some shit up a little bit later <clears throat> in, a, in another country. But other than that, you're on your own. Fuck it. <clears throat> Sorry. So if you can make it to where I'm at, more power to you. If you can't, well, fuck it, dude. You're on your own. I respect that a whole lot more than someone saying, we're going to give you, again, the scraps from my fucking table. Because you'll never get to be a millionaire in this fucking plan. Because he's going to tax the fuck out of you. So even if you do make $100,000 or $200,000, shit, 50% of that is going to the fucking government. So you'll never make it out. You, you will be fucked. You will be trapped. And my issue is, why is it that their plans, none of their plans are saying, you know what, we will let you be or we will help you get to where we're at. As opposed to, we were going to keep you where you at. We're just going to throw you a few crumbs to make you happy. It's all bullshit. Okay, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I know someone who owns a business. And let's be real, the, the government is it's fucking nuts. I, was, I know someone owns a business and she had to deal with so much fucking government problems and issues because of the signs for her business. This sign wasn't approved. This sign doesn't have a permit. This sign is in the wrong location. This sign needs, like, business owners don't have time for that bullshit. All right, get the fuck out of the way. We don't have time to worry about the fucking color of the sign or if this sign is at the right angle or if this sign was approved by the state. No. That doesn't help people get out of their financial situation. And $15 an hour, I'm sorry. All you people who are jumping up and down about that shit, it's fucking nothing. If you, Again, if you live in a major city that can afford to give you $15 an hour, it's fucking nothing. You can't live in New York, San Francisco, Washington, anywhere of a major city off $15 an hour. So stop acting like it's the world's greatest fucking thing. All right, man, that's it. Um, sir, my last thing is, to the Democrats, get the fuck off race. We're all human. You are running for the president of the United States. Okay? Which means you will be in charge of everyone. Not just the black and brown people. Not just the minorities. But you'll be in charge of everyone. So maybe it would help you to speak to everyone in a more positive and a more focused manner on bringing everyone up. Instead of throwing people fucking scraps. Alright man, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is St. Patrick. I'm out.